Welcome to Thailand's gastronomy city, Nakhon Rajasinghe. Nakhon Rajasima or Korat is known as the gateway to Isan or northeastern Thailand. There are a lot of expats living here. I'm gonna meet my British friend at a 40 year old local restaurant. Let's join us. I've been living in Korat now since 2004. I think Korat is kind of famous for having really good local food. Yeah. And until recently, it was difficult to get food that wasn't. Thai, Isan, Korat focus. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Which one have you tried before? Pad Mi is similar to Pad Thai, mm. but a special noodle, and we've just learnt the order in which it's cooked yeah. will lead to it be, uh, being a, a good Pad yeah. Mi Korat over yeah, yeah. a Pad Thai. This one, Gang Liang. Okay. Gang Liang. It, it looks like a normal soup, but no. for Gang Liang, they put shrimp paste into it to add more spiciness into the soup. Okay. okay, and they've got lots of like local vegetables and shrimps. So we've got some baby corn in there. We've got, it looks like cucumber. Yes. And some pumpkin, lovely. We've got here like a simple fried chicken, but here they use only fish sauce as an ingredient. So it's good. That one's similar to lab, but it's not. It's called hao dong mu, like a pork hao dong, like a local name. The special thing is that they use this raw, like holy basil to add into this. This one, they recommend us to have every time we're here. It's deep fried mackerel with chili and uh, like special chili paste, like with sugar because it's a little sweet, okay. you know, and, and the sweetness comes from coconut sugar, the hardened one. You're familiar with Radna? I am familiar with Radna. Okay. When I first came to Thailand, this was one of my favorite dishes. Okay. And I used to have it an awful lot. Um, flat noodles, or a, a noodle served with a thick, kind of glossy, gelatinous gravy. gravy. Yeah, gelatinous gravy, yeah. Uh, and then normally with chicken or pork. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, delicious. Yes, this is like a typical dish for local Thai. We always have this everywhere. It, and it always comes with hasi eel, this stir fry, noodles with I think black sauce. Sometimes we add like this like you know, grub. The, grub, the crunchy noodles onto the top like this. Okay. To add the crunchiness. It's already good. I think I don't need this. No? Yeah. Bat Chong is a popular district for both domestic and international travelers. I'll have a chance to meet with Pite at her popular Isan restaurant, Ben Lao. First of all, I love Isan food, and my descendant great great grandma from Vientiane. Wow. Lao. Okay. Just like a lot of ingredients, they are from local community. Yes, and uh, avocado just is only for this season. Mm -hmm. We work directly with the uh, Aden Organic Farm. The mushroom with yanang, good, and uh, sweet basil, and with three kinds of mushroom. We grow it by ourselves in the, our backyard. Catfish salad. A bit spicy. Spicy one. Apart from that, we have this som tam no prabang. Yes. Which is the Lao style of som tam. Uh, and the papaya is wider than the, yes, the Thai yes, style. Yes, yes. And they make it uh, crispy a bit. Okay. And yeah. we eat with grilled chicken. Uh, this one also signature. And we use the peppers from Chantaburi. Okay. Which is can bring you more smell. And we still, you know, cook, grill it. Okay. Charcoal, very natural. Okay, and Padmi Oh, definitely well. you can't miss this one. Yes. Crispy cracker pork. Cracker pork. With chili and This is my favorite, you know, drink with beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, don't forget this one. A sticky rice, I guess.
Just a 20-minute drive from Ben Lao is another food heaven. In tropical weather like Thailand, local people always search for somewhere with cool breeze and beautiful nature. So that's why this place has been created. When you enter this place, you will find beautifully decorated buildings in European style, as well as like some flower fields outside. They are for the best of European cuisine. For example, this German pork knuckle in front of me. This is a must try. As well as some, you know, homemade products, smoked homemade products. Because you know, when they smoke themselves, you feel the fragrance that comes from the wood that they used to smoke. Like this one smoked pork shop. They also have famous tenderloin with pork cod, famous like simple dish like pizza, and. Salad is highly recommended because most of the vegetables are brought from an organic farm that they have just next to the main building here. So you can be sure that the vegetables are really, really fresh. I've had it here, tuna salad. All right. Don't forget that they offer some Thai dishes as well. Tri Cafe is a part of Rancho Charvi Resort and Country Club. This area is actually around 1,000 rides, consisting of resort, cafe, and golf courses. And next to the cafe, there are three horse ranches where you can enjoy watching the horses, or probably taking photo with them, or feed them with the guidance from our staff members here. And uh, there are also mini classic cars for rent for you to enjoy uh, the activity, like driving around the area with your friends and family. For coffee, it's just ordered this cool blue coffee, you know, with a little bit of cinnamon flavor. And they've got this, this is caramel popcorn macchiato, okay? And this one, for those who may not want to order coffee, it's uh, grapefruit soda. Myself, I'd like to recommend this uh, cropful, okay, with ice cream. Next, let's enjoy some more coffee with my Chinese friends who've been working in Korat as university lecturers. Here you see that it's not far from downtown, just about 15 minutes, and then you'll be here, you know, amidst the green trees everywhere. So people normally come here to take photos. Like we're on the second floor, when we look down to the, on, to the first floor, you find these are real trees. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kanom Jin Pradok, Ban Puyot. Pradok is actually the village here. The name is Prado. Van Puyot is like the house of Puyot. Puyot is the musician who's playing Renat for us. And he's the second generation. Uh, the current one is third generation already. So there's, they've been doing this food business for over 80 years. Okay, so kind of old. They are very uh, specialized in Kanom Jin. We call this rice vermicelli. Like this one is like a staple food in many parts of Thailand. But in Korat, especially here, they let us try four types of curry. Like the original one is like a coconut curry with like fish balls. But this one without coconut is Kanom Jin Gang Pa. This one is Nam Prik, not spicy, but they use nuts. And this one, Gang Kai. So it's up to us whether we can mix like some of these curries together or we just prefer like one by one. And they've got a lot of like side dish, like vegetables, many kinds of vegetables. But if you hear any sound, you should try song tam. And today we'll try like both, like the central style song tam, song tam Thai, and this one song tam Lao or the Isan Thai, with the delicious fermented fish, para. Okay, here is famous for para, so you should try it today. And I have like picnic, kom yang, the grilled one, grilled pork. 
and we normally eat with fried chicken. Last but not least, pad mi korat. Okay, the fried noodles korat style with a special sauce top up with fried egg. So, before we eat, let's talk about what we're going to eat. Ready? Ready? Hope you enjoyed the gastronomy journey in the Kondrajasima with me. There is still a lot more to explore in the Isan region. Please stay tuned for more updates from Amazing Thailand.